It was a showdown no one expected to see at a rally for Hillary Clinton yesterday. Former President Bill Clinton was in Philly stumping for his wife and had a dramatic run-in with some Black Lives Matters protesters. They were upset about an anti-crime bill that he signed while in office. The confrontation lasted for more than 10 minutes. Here's a portion of Bill sounding off at the BLM activists. I don't know how you would characterize the gang leaders who got 13-year-old kids hopped up on crack and sent them out onto the street to murder other African-American children. Maybe you thought they were good citizens. She didn't. She didn't. You are defending the people who kill the lives you say matter. Tell the truth. Yeah. All right. Today, Clinton expressed some regret for that response. So, I did something yesterday in Philadelphia. I almost want to apologize for it, but I want to use it as an example of the danger threatening our country. I rather vigorously defended my wife, as I want to do, and I realized finally I was talking past her the way she was talking past me. We got to stop that in this country. We got to listen to each other. All right, nice recovery, Greg. Well, you shouldn't have. Give that man a cigar. <laughs> no, don't. Oh what my. he said first was refreshing, and he was correct. He's absolutely right. If BLM is upset at him over that 1994 Violent Crime Prevention Act, go after the black community leaders who wanted it. What that, what that, uh, that uh, act did in the mid-'90s is it stopped a horrendous rise in, 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 uh, in homicides among uh, uh, the black community. It fell 54%. All right, he cut, he cut the homicide rate in half. That wasn't the only thing that did it, but it sure as hell helped. Hell, sure as hell helped. So this is a fact that Bill Clinton has saved more lives than Al Sharpton, Spike Lee, uh, the Black Panthers combined. He is, he, is, he is a black hero. And there are a lot of people that those black live activists probably know who are alive because of Bill Clinton. Very interesting perspective. I like that. It started off shaky and it went strong. <laughs> Good on you. I had about three you. other jokes that uh, I can't use. I know. Yeah. They've, been, they've been banned by the Better Business Bureau. Okay, go ahead. Um, I think that this is a really clever ploy on the part of the Clintons. I think they're having their cake and they're eating it too. I think this is Bill Clinton coming out on one side of an issue and Hillary Clinton gets to be on the other and voters get to decide which Clinton they like and which one they believe. I mean, I, I, I give them, I think they're the most skilled politicians in the universe and that this is totally contrived. Mm -hmm. Well, they did a nice cleanup on aisle seven. Jesse, anything you'd like to clean up? I'd like to clean up something also in case Eric Bowling is watching. I did this. I know it's his move. I only did it because Gunfeld told me I had to do it. That's true. And then he laughed at me after I did it and said, Bowling's going to kill you. So I'm sorry, Bowling. You can do the Waters World thing if you want to to make up for it. Yeah. Glad I got that out of the way. Did you see that Machiavellian move by the little man over there? Yeah, you're setting oh, me up. I may be a little man, but there's a lot of big things happening. I I know, I know. You and the uh, unicorn. Um, but the on, on substance here, I mean, these, they're, they're protesting the first black president. Yeah. Th do they know he's not the first black president? That's just not right. It's also rich and delightful to Why watch. Why did you look at Juan? It's a <laughs> well, no no, he's not looking at one. I, I, I just love watching Democrats fight each other. I'm sick of watching the Republicans do it. It's nice to see a little bit on the other side. Mm -hmm. And Greg makes a great point. The welfare reform bill and the crime bill, black poverty went down 10% after that. Urban violence went down 50%. So this, what's their alternative? They want more people on welfare and they want more crime? It doesn't make any sense to me. And the fact that he apologized, it's so soft. And you know the clip oh, machine didn't got it. It to wasn't him. An apology. That's not a joke. It wasn't an apology. Was like, oh, oh, come oh, on. God. You know the machine was like, this is not right. <laughs> no. You've got to apologize. No, no, no. And the he problem, had to take it back. The problem is Hillary relies on black votes right now. And you don't want to antagonize. If you're the Clintons, you don't want to antagonize or, or, or create an opening where people would say, the Clintons are separating themselves from the black community and is taking the hard Republican line. But the facts are the facts. What are the facts? And, and let me, the facts are that 90% of black people are killed by other black people mm -hmm. and that you have in the black community this horrible thing going on, a failure of leadership by black leaders, NAACP, every, all the rest of them, to get out there and march. They'll march against the cops and you can have an argument because the cops have the power of the state. But you know what? There is no excuse for not going directly at black on black crime by Black Lives Matter. Mm -hmm. The Black Lives Matter people say, oh, everybody who raises this point is really diverting from the real issue, which is police brutality. You can have a legitimate issue there about police brutality, but that doesn't.